Hi there again guys, this is Serengazy from State 244 and I'm going to do a little video here on something that you may not have given a lot of thought to and that is your base layout. It actually does affect how things function on your city. Um, there's several things, some of them pretty minor and then there's one that's pretty major. Um, but we're going to go through that here in a minute. Um, first off, there is a travel time for a construction vehicle to leave your base in the center of your city and travel to your depots to gather the resources needed to upgrade something and then take them to the building site. <clears throat> so you will have a delay of up to 30 or 40 seconds if your depots are on one side of your base and your building site is on the other. So having them close to your main base does cut down on the amount of travel time that your builders have to go through. Now, let's face it, that's pretty minuscule in the grand scheme of things. However, at the very beginning, when you are trying to bang stuff out very, very quickly, and it can, it can, it can be annoying. <laughs> let's face it, even little tiny things can be annoying sometimes. Um, Another thing is electricity. Electricity is a resource. It is something that you do need. And a lot of people will do like with my city right now, where there is no electricity right now. This is very sad. And I'm going to show you why. Right now, I have absolutely everything possible in my city connected. And I did that purposely to run the electricity down so that I could make this video. <laughs> now, when your electricity is down, you suffer some consequences. Um, I'm going to show you what they are. Now, for right now, because I have no electricity in any of my generators, I mean, no fuel in my generators, they're not producing any electricity. I have none. The only thing right now that is producing electricity is my windmill. Now, my windmill alone produces only 46% of the electricity that this city requires to operate in the standards that it's at right now. Um, now, with the exception of those generators, pretty much every single building that you have draws energy. All right, oh, 42%. So, um, the problem with that is that it, it does affect things when you don't have electricity. So, because my electricity is only being produced at 42%, if I go and click on my resources, you'll notice that my resources have also dropped. And they are only producing 42% of what they could be producing. So instead of getting 40,000 an hour, I'm only getting 42% of that. And that goes for absolutely every resource. Now, that's, that's terrible. I'm getting less than half of what I could be getting every hour. So you want to keep the electricity on and you want to keep the lights on in all your cities. So if you have a layout like I do, where you can cut the electricity by just moving a few roads and reduce how much electricity your city requires very simply and get rid of a lot of that burden. Um, now the only things that really truly need to be connected to electricity supply at all times are anything that is resource based. So. You don't want to disconnect your hospitals, I mean, um, your banks and your houses, because your population will immediately drop if you disconnect a house, like instantly. It, it's, it's like literally almost instantaneous. You'll notice right now I have 103, 250, but if I remove this, instant drop. I instantly lose people. And they don't come back. Um, right away when I attach it always. Sometimes they do, but more often than not, they will remain gone. 
Um, now, right now, the only reason they came back is because I am basically at my population minimum. Um, if I was at population, like, maximum because I had food in my food truck and my population was high and I disconnected that house, those people would go away and then I'd reconnect the house and they would have to rebuild the way they normally do. They'd, it'd be like they're not there and now got to wait time for the food truck to attract people and, and fill that back up. Um, that's not necessarily ideal, especially if you're waiting to build something and you need population. But more importantly, when you don't have population, your banks don't produce cash. So that's a negative. Cash is kind of a necessity. But all of my, my fields, all my timber fields, all my food fields, all my iron fields, they are all producing right now at only 42%. But now I disconnected a bunch of stuff and now I'm up to 79%. Now that's just because my electricity has gone up to 79%. I'm, I don't have as many buildings pulling electricity now. I disconnected everything that I could. So now if I put a little bit of, like, of fuel into one of these generators and give myself some juice so that I can have some electricity, uh, I'm gonna show you what happens when you do it because it's important that you have electricity. Job done. Soon as I have electricity, up, oh, see, instantly, I have 100% electrical Job's supply. Job's done. And now all of my, things have gone up to 100%. I'm back to 100% production on everything. Simply because I put the lights back on. People don't like Job to work done. in the dark. <laughs> so, keep the lights on. Think about your layout. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. It really doesn't matter. You can set it up however you want. But keep in mind that most things do not need to be connected. Your depots always have to be connected. Your resource fields always have to be connected. Your houses and your banks always need to be connected. The rest of it, not so much. Um, I have one hospital over here by itself because if just one hospital is connected, even if all the others are not, I do not lose my hospital capacity. Um, if I go in here and I look at it, I still have my full hospital capacity. Um, it's not affected by the fact that most of my hospitals are, you know, sitting in the dark. That really doesn't matter. When I go to train troops, all of my bunks still give me the bonus, even though they are disconnected. I still get the bonus to my training time. I still get the increase to in the amount of troops that I can train at a time. I get all of that. It does not matter that they don't have electricity. Um, so you might want to rework your layout. I know it's a pain in the butt moving all these things and relaying all your roads. It's worth it. I build in this type of format on every farm that I build, whether I'm building for myself or whether I'm building for someone else. They are all built on this layout because it works and it works really well. So keep that in mind for yourself. It's very simple to, to just move a, 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 a building over to the road, connect it, get in and do my trades, do my whatevers. And, and then once I'm done with, with doing what I need, I slide it back. There we go. I kept my electricity low. And, and for the sake of only having put a few gallons of fuel into the generators, I didn't put very much in. And, and now I'm going to be good for hours doesn't take very much just put a little smidge um, do it once or twice a day um, I usually do it in the morning when I send my gatherers out and then I'll do it again in the evening um, around the times that I, I collect I my, um, my uh, resources and stuff from my production centers on my farms I, I collect those Job's twice a done. day I put 5k fuel in each generator generator twice a day and I hit rapid very rarely do I run out of fuel. I mean, my electricity pretty much Job stays done. good. And, and that's how it works. It's, 
it really is important to keep your electricity up. So do it. Um, wash this a few times if you need to. Feel free to copy my layout. I don't care. It's not going to affect me in any way if you copy it. Um, but also keep in mind that it doesn't have to be exactly like this to work for you. Set it up in, in whatever works for you. But just maybe try to disconnect anything that you don't really need. Um, and keep it disconnected. Another note is even when my um, ration truck here is disconnected, it will still feed my people if there's food in it. So I can move this little road, it's connected. I send a little bit of food and water over there and I disconnect it again. It's still going to receive its food and water and it's still going to feed my people. They're all just sitting in the dark. They don't care, they got food, who cares? So um, it doesn't have to be connected. You wanna to wanna to connect that sucker for like two seconds a day at the most um, and that's it. Rest of the time, keep it disconnected because it is an, one of the worst buildings for how much electricity it pulls. It pulls done. a crazy amount of electricity. So now my population will be going up because I got food in there and it is not connected. They don't care that the, it, it's dark. They just want their food. <laughs> so that is the lowdown on electricity and why it actually is very, very important to your city to have it. Um, and, and not just your main city, but all cities, farms, you know, and it doesn't matter what class they are either. It's going to affect everything the same way. Electricity, if you don't got it, you're gonna suffer. So, keep the lights on. <laughs>